Welcome to Life, Work and Dreams. This is Tuesday. This idea came to me in the closing days of December 2021. An idea to create a project with my Ricoh GR3 that would last the entire year. See, I have somewhat of a love-hate relationship with my GR. I love the form factor and the way that it renders images, but at times I've struggled with the focal length and found it way too wide. But I really wanted to push myself and felt that I owed it to the camera to see what I could make. The concept was to create a body of work where each image on their own would seemingly have no connection, but combined would create a layer of my life. Almost like a slice through a 52 layered cake, revealing the strata of life within. The more I thought about this idea, the more I wanted to create rules and parameters for how this collection of images would come to life. One, they would all be the same 6x4 landscape format. Second, I could go out on each day and shoot as many images as I liked but only one image from that day could be chosen and the rest would remain on the cutting room floor, so to speak. And finally, they should all be shot in black and white. See, this isn't my usual approach to photography, but as these were to become a section of my life, I feel like black and white to me is really linked to memory. Not everything is present in each image. It allows for reflection and for me an emotional connection to remember the time again without the photograph doing all the work. My final choice was to simply pick the frequency of how often and when I would take these photographs. I liked the idea that this would be a once a week project. Producing a series of 52 images felt like a nice collection and would chart the year well. And honestly, I picked Tuesday because, well, I find Mondays a chore. And if I started this project on a Monday, would I see it through to the end? And thinking back to late 2021 when I made this choice, I would have no idea the significance of the journey this project would take me on. See, I knew in my mind's eye when starting this project that it could be more than just street photography. Not every Tuesday would I be out on the street in the position to be able to take street shots, but it felt like the easiest place to start. I wanted the start of this project to set the scene for my home and the destination for where the project would take place here in Nottingham. I look across the city, but in a way I had this idea in my mind to abstract my view and to frame it in a way that suggests the journey ahead, where the Tuesday project had not yet revealed itself so full of excitement for the second Tuesday into the project, I left my house ready to make photographs, only to realise that I'd left my SD card at home. But one wonderful feature that I discovered about the GR is that it has this tiny inbuilt memory that will allow you to take like 30 pictures, I think. And honestly, it saved my life that day and I never forgot the SD card for the rest of the time on the project. It was Tuesday the 18th of January that I realised this project could start to become something really different. The whole family had COVID and we were all stuck at home and I captured so many images that day. It made me look at my home in a very different way, but this image of my dog P really captures my feeling of my mood and my memory of life at that moment. Tuesday the 1st of February is one of the first images I truly love in this project, a lover's embrace, a memory that seems so long forgotten. You might have noticed in the intro sequence that there was an image missing from the collection. And honestly, I didn't have the energy or capacity to go out and capture something. And to me, it felt right to include, and I could have easily made a photograph on a separate day or cheated. But I think it's important to show that not everything is perfect and works out the way you want.
Over the next few weeks, I really began to fall in love with my GR. I wouldn't shoot it any other day, apart from the days for this project. I would be so excited to go out and play with it. The size alone allows for all kinds of images to be captured without anyone ever blinking an eye. And I really started to love the focal length, conducting and composing much busier scenes. As I mentioned at the beginning of the film, I had no idea the significance of The Chosen Day, but from this point onwards, the project subconsciously started to crystallise in my mind. Making the final selection for these images, it became clear that this was a collection of images, not only connected by Day of the Week, or for that matter photographs taken by me, but a collection about love, love for the street, human connection, a time saying goodbye and hope. The next photograph means so much to me and my life as a street photographer. I'd spent the last six years walking the streets of Nottingham in a particular way. With a set of routes, I would walk religiously. See, I'd spent the night out walking around till late, knowing that in a few weeks, my wife would be giving birth to our baby and that I couldn't afford to be far away from home in case of an emergency. I remember thinking to myself, as this would be my first baby, who knows the impact and influence this could have on my work. And that we'd be moving home and be further away from city life. And will I find time to be out making photographs? And before I knew it, I was at the traffic lights about to leave the city. And I just had this realisation that from this moment forward, my life would be completely different. I was never going to walk this route again in the same way. And I pulled out my GR and snapped this photograph to remember the feeling. I love that it's not perfect. It feels both still and full of movement all at the same time. And to me, it says something so much more than to anyone else. The next few weeks, I would explore close to home, remembering the little details of life around the place we called home. only to find that we would get our moving date as Tuesday the 29th of November. Late into the night of Tuesday the 6th of December, my wife would go into labour and my life would change forever. What started out as a project to push myself to use my GR more turned into something far more special. And over the last five months, I've put so much work into not only figuring out the sequence and putting this video together, but I decided I would create a book, something to remember this journey 
And this isn't something to sell or anything like that. It's just for me and my personal journey. In actual fact, I've only created five copies, one to give to my daughter and the rest for my wife and family. But I thought it would be fun to share that journey with you. But I think my end thoughts on this are what started out life as an idea for a video to talk to you about my likes and dislikes of the Ricoh GR3 became something far more than that. And honestly, I think go out and try it and see where the journey takes you. And I'd love to hear those stories from you in the future. Thank you.